It is I, Game Girl. I said, it is I, Game Girl. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> that's better, that's better. You know what, I've got my cape to help me fly. I've got my hula hoop of justice and I have my swords of truth with me today. Wah! Oh, clearly I need to practice with those a little more. Okay, okay, moving on. Guys, it is so great to see you all today, and I am so glad that you joined us this week. Today, we're going to learn all about a new superpower that we all have. Ooh, maybe it's the power to fly. Oh, I sure hope so. That would be so much fun. And speaking of fun, who wants to play a game? I knew you would. You always want to play games with me. I love you guys. This game is called Guess the Pick. Maybe you've actually played it before, but if not, I think you're really going to like this one. Here's how you play. When I say go, you will have 20 seconds on the timer to guess what the artist is drawing. And when you figure it out, yell out your guess, and maybe it will be the right one. Some of these are pretty tricky, you guys, but I believe in you. Are you ready for round one? Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, go! right away? I bet some of you did. Let's try another one. This one is going to be a little trickier. Are you ready for it? Round two in three, two, one, go! didn't guess that one right. I thought it was going to be a monkey in a tutu. Did you guess that one right? You did? Awesome. Let's go for one more round. Are you up for it? Are you sure? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I know you're sure. Round three in three, two, one, go! <music> positive you did because you guys are super at everything you do. Let's keep up the fun you guys and check out our memory verse today. Hey guys, Super Maggie here. It is time to say our verse one last time. Are you ready? I think all of you know our verse by now so I want you to try and say the verse and sign the motions with me. Okay? Okay. Our verse is Ephesians 6, 10. It says, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Ephesians 6, 10. Great job. I knew you could do it. Let's go through this verse one last time in the loudest voice possible. I want everyone around you to hear it. Okay? Okay. Be strong in the Lord, in his mighty power. Ephesians 6, 10. Well, awesome job, you guys. You have done amazing at learning this verse. I am proud of each and every one of you. I want you to keep remembering this verse as your reminder that all of us have the ability to be super. Thanks for joining. Bye. Awesome job on that memory verse. Well done. 
Now let me see you guys all stand up on your feet and let's declare God's word over our lives right now because God's word is, say it with me, powerful. That's right. Let's say this so loud, you guys, that even your neighbors will hear it. Are you ready? Get set, go! Hey guys, it's me. No, not the first me. It's the second me. I beat the first me here today, so I'm going to lead you in the word declaration instead of her. Are you ready? Hey, that's my job. Well, I didn't want to wait for you because these guys are ready to declare God's word over their lives. Well, okay, I didn't, I guess you just have this under control by yourself today. Take it yes. away. Okay, guys, here we go. We are the Bridge Kids. We are loved. We are accepted. We are not our own. We belong to God. We're not afraid. Jesus is with us. Holy Spirit gives us courage to go to tell to serve. Awesome job, you guys. You guys have really gotten the hang of this. You know what? We want you to remember this word declaration. Yeah, because even if we're not here, you will still be saying this every That's week. right. To prepare your hearts for worship and to declare God's word over your lives. Yeah, because God's word is powerful. powerful. <laughs> Keep using all those other superpowers too. And we will we'll see, see you soon. soon. That was so great. It is amazing how we can declare God's word over our lives and how it gives us strength to use our superpowers. God's word is the ultimate superpower. All right, you guys, stay standing with me and let's get ready to worship with Super Nene. Let's sing My God is So Big.
leadership, guys. I see all those motions. You guys did a great job. You know, that's my favorite superpower. Bye, guys. Love you. Good morning, fellow superheroes, and welcome to this week's edition of some super news with The Flash. Every week, we've taken a look at the ways you've been using your newfound superpowers to encourage and uplift those around you. So far, we've learned that we have the superpower of words and obedience, serving, worship. And today, we are adding the oh-so-powerful superpower of prayer. <laughs> we heard some reports this past week of an ordinary kid, a kid just like you who used his superpower of prayer in a mighty way. His name was Samuel, and his story was awesome. Also this week, we have some awesome examples of you, the Bridge Kids, using your newfound superpower of prayer. But before we get to that, we're going to hand it over to Stormy Merriweather, who over the last weeks has taught us a few things, including how to be prepared for any kind of weather, how to stay cool, weather tongue twisters, and how to almost fly a kite. Every week has been a little bit of a surprise, and I believe that this week will be no different. Take it away, Stormy. Well, hello there, my fellow fair weather chasers. Stormy Merriweather here, reporting for duty. I'm feeling much better today. I hope you guys had fun last week with my friend Mary. She's practically perfect in every way. <laughs> you know, I hope that today is the day that we finally see what the weather is actually like. Let's take a look at the map, shall we? Um, oh dear. I honestly have no idea what's going on with the weather. Um, oh, maybe it's feeling a little under the weather. <laughs> um, let's try that again, shall we? Uh, oh, um, it's, it's raining. Oh, look, that poor bear, he got caught out in the rain. I think he might be a drizzly bear. <laughs> okay, let's try again, shall we? Uh, oh, oh, okay, um, knock, knock. Scold. Scold outside. Burr. <laughs> oh my goodness. I uh, don't know what's gotten into me. Let's see. Oh, oh, um, more, oh, little stormy there. What does a rain cloud wear under his clothes? Thunderwear. <laughs> oh my. Let's try one more time, shall we? Oh, oh dear. That's, that's serious. Um, it looks like that's a hurricane, I think. Why do hurricanes move so fast? Because if they moved any slower, we'd have to call them slower canes. <laughs> oh, oh, well. Oh, good, there's the sun again. I know. What is the hottest day of the week? Why, Sunday, of course. <laughs> Oh, bother. Well, I think that I shall never be able to predict the weather correctly. But at least we had fun together, right? Thanks for joining me every week for the Stormy Merryweather Report, my fellow fair weather chasers. I shall really miss you guys. Have a fabulous week and don't forget to have fun, whatever the weather may be. Back to you, Flash! Um, those were some punny weather jokes there, Stormy. Thank you again for all your weather reports. Although I'm starting to think you didn't actually go to meteorology school. Or even watched a weather report. But we do appreciate you trying for us. And now it's time to send it to the farm! Where over the past few weeks, Maggie McDonald has been attempting to use her superpowers to speak to animals with her mind. It hasn't gone quite as expected, but well, let's just see how she's doing this week. Maggie. Oh, Maggie McDonald. E-I-E-I. -E -I. Oh, there you are.
Good morning guys and welcome back to my farm. Today I have two more animals to show you. So today I have my chickens. They're just running around having a wonderful time and I'm going to try and call them with my mind. I think they're ready. I think they're up for the challenge. Are you guys ready? All right, I have really high hopes for this one. All right, chickens, are you ready? Okay, okay, they don't hear me. They're, they're still over there. That's okay. We're gonna try it one last time. Um, chickens! Okay, they are still over there. They are not coming to me. So, I guess my superpower doesn't work on chickens. However, we have one last animal we are going to try my superpower on. Let's go over and meet my final animal. I have got my final animal here. This is my bunny. She is super sweet. And I have really, really high hopes for her. So we are going to give her a very difficult command. I'm going to get her to try and speak with my mind. Oreo, are you ready? Okay. Oreo? Okay, she's not talking, but that's okay. She's probably taking a little bit to get warmed up. That's fine. Let's try it one more time. <sighs> Guys, I don't think my superpower works on the bunny either, and she's my last farm animal. I'm, I'm wondering if I don't have any superpowers at all. What's wrong, Miss Mary? Well... I thought I had this amazing superpower of talking to animals with my mind, and I don't think I have any superpowers. Well, that's not true. It isn't? You do. I do? Jesus has his you superpower. Can you tell me about him? Yeah. All right, let's go. Well, Maggie, thank you so much for taking us on your adventures as you try to talk to animals with your mind. You know, kids, even though we may not have the superpowers we think we have, or hope we have, God does give us the superpowers He wants us to have. We just have to choose to use them. I hope Maggie has learned that too. And now for the main story, you kids. First we have Sailor, Ellery, and Axel praying together for God to bless their family. Good day, thank you for this day. And I pray that tonight everyone sleeps well. I'm thankful for a bed to sleep in and everything you've provided for us. Thank you for all my siblings and my mom and dad. In Jesus' name, amen. God, thank you for this day. Thank you for everybody. Thank you that you even made us. Thank you that I can just have fun with my family. Thank you for everybody in this world. Thank you for animals and food. He is saying amen. Thank you that we get to go to school and thank you that my blankies need us name amen. Thank you Lord for our family and that we get to see them often and thank you that I have cousins around my age and thank you for my parents that take care of me. In Jesus name amen. God Thank you for my family, my cousins, my aunts, my uncles. Thank you for my pets. Thank you for food and my friends. Just his name, amen. And finally, we might not have pictures of all of you praying all the time, but we know you are. We want to encourage you to keep talking to God and listening for him to talk to you too. Don't forget, prayer is a two-part superpower. Well done. All of you. Well, sadly, this is the last week of some super news with The Flash. I'd like to take a minute to say thanks to our two field reporters, Stormy Merriweather and Maggie McDonald, for their helpful, mostly useless, but always entertaining reports that they brought us every week. And finally, I want to say a huge thank you to all of you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sharing your superpowers in action. And thank you for being the Bridge Kids. You are amazing. Remember, fellow superheroes, 
you can choose to use all of the superpowers you've learned so far. Say them with me. Words, obedience, service, worship, and prayer. Because the more you use them, the stronger they get. Have a great week, and don't forget to be super! I'm glad you joined us for Bridge Kids Church today. It's so great to see you all. Um, Pirate Joey, uh, what, what you doing there? I'm counting my gold. It's the highest honor a pirate could ever have. Oh, 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 okay. Well, um, we're about to start our lesson today. And it just so happens that we are talking about our superpower of honor. <laughs> Are? Oh, wait. Are you guys talking about the highest pirate honor? A chest of gold? Um, no, Pirate Joey. We're actually talking about another kind of honor. One that's even much higher than a chest you full mean, of gold. You mean there's a higher honor than a chest full of gold? Actually, Pirate Joey, there is. I'm going to teach our bridge kids about this kind of honor, and we'd love for you to join us if you want to. Of course I want to join you, because if there's a higher honor than gold, I gotta have it. Um, okay, but since this honor is much higher than gold, maybe a change of costume is in order? Sure, that's much better, Super Joey. I like that costume mucho better. Okay, Super Joey, now that you're back, maybe you can sit right over there and listen while I teach the kids about our superpower of honor. Sure. Okay, we'll see you later. Anyway, kids, I really am glad that you guys joined us for Kids Church today because we're going to learn about our last superpower, the superpower of honor. You might be asking, um, Miss Alicia, that doesn't sound like a superpower at all. And if it is, I have no idea what it means. Well, that's why... Miss Alicia! Oh, Super Joey, you scared me again. Can't say that I'm gonna miss that. But, Miss Alicia, I know what honor means. Are you sure you know, Super Joey? Because, you know, sometimes you get a little bit confused. No, 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 not this time. I know this one. Honor means to treat others with respect. No, Joey, wait. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's exactly what honor means. Honor does mean to treat others with respect. See, I told ya. <laughs> yeah, okay, Super Joey, you were right. Um, can I keep teaching now? Yep, take it away, Miss Alicia. Um, Bye. Okay, anyway, like Super Joey said, honor does mean to treat others with respect. So let's think about it this way. If someone in your house asks you to set the table and you roll your eyes and make a really big sigh, and then you set the table, now you're, you're obeying, but is that showing respect to that person? No, that's not an attitude of honor you're showing at all. But Miss Alicia, you say, what is an attitude of honor anyway? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I'll tell you. Honor is an attitude of the heart. You can't really see or even hear honor. It, it's not just what we say or what we do. It has to do with your heart and with your attitude. Let's take a look at what the Bible has to say about this. In Romans chapter 12, verse 10, it says, Love everyone like you love the members of your family. Be the best at showing honor to each other. Hmm, be the best? How many of you are super competitive? Like you love being the best at whatever you do. Yeah, me too. I like being the best at stuff too. And right here in the Bible, it's telling us to be the best. A showing honor competition? That sounds like an awesome competition to me. I think I might win that one. 
Uh, okay, never mind. Back to the lesson. I got a little excited there for a minute. So we can say for our definition that honor means having an attitude of respect in our hearts. Now let's talk about who we honor. It's Alicia! Wow. Oh, man. Super Joey, you gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> I got her again. <laughs> but, Miss Alicia, I know who we honor. Oh, you do, do you? Who are we supposed to honor, Super Joey? Well... I know we honor God first, and then we honor our parents, then we honor those in authority, like teachers and police officers, firefighters, our leaders. Oh, wow, that, that's right again, Super Joey. Man, you're really on a roll today. Yep, you're welcome. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> um, okay, well, uh, Super Joey was right again. We are supposed to honor God first, and then the others he mentioned, we're supposed to honor them too. And the Bible makes it really easy for us to know who we are supposed to honor. Let's read about it in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 17. It says, honor God and honor all people. Does that mean some people? Just the people we like? Just the people we get along with? No, the Bible says honor all people. Um, it can't get much easier than that, right? Let's say this together really loud. Honor God and honor all people. You can do it. Ready? One more time. I want you to say it really loud. Honor God and honor all people. Great job, you guys. That's an easy one to remember. Okay, but you might be wondering, but Miss Alicia, how do we actually show honor to all people? Well, I'll tell you. You can show honor Man, I really thought Super Joey was going to pop up and scare me and tell us to how to show honor. Do you guys see him anywhere? Yeah, me either. Okay, oh well. I guess he decided to listen. Like I was saying, we can show honor in lots of ways. We can... Miss Alicia! Why? I know how we can show honor to people. <sighs> okay, please tell us, Super Joey, while I catch my breath, how to honor people. Well... The Bible actually has a lot of examples about showing honor. And I think my favorite example is from a kid, an ordinary kid, just like you. The Bible doesn't even tell us her name. Wait, what? The Bible doesn't tell us her name? No, but we know she was a servant to a very important soldier named Nahum. Wow, Joey. You know what? You're using your superpower of words today to encourage me because you really have been paying attention in kids' church, haven't you? I sure have. Well, that makes me super happy. Hmm. I think we should call this kid hero the girl with no name. What you think? Sounds good to me. Hey, I have an idea. Let's go inside the story. I would love that. Do you have your glasses? Ah, nice job. You need some help? Okay. Hang on. Let me get mine on. All right, Super Joey, let's go inside, inside the, the story. story. Hey kids, today we're going to talk about Naaman. He was commander of a powerful army. Naaman met a young girl with no name, and she's the real hero of the story. Naaman was this great warrior commander dude who would go attack other countries and take all their stuff. He wasn't a nice guy. He even attacked God's people and took them back as slaves to his own country. Now, I don't know about you, but I would not be a fan of Naaman if he kidnapped me and made me his slave. And that's exactly what he did to the girl with no name. One more thing about Naaman. He was a leper. <coughs> no, not a leopard. A leper. It's a disease. Ever heard of it? Well, it's nasty to look at, and it's real painful. So even though Naaman was successful, he had a lot of pain. People probably stared at him and made fun of him for how he looked. So here's where the story gets interesting. One day, the girl said to her mistress, I wish my master would go see the prophet. He would heal him of his leprosy. What? Did you catch that? The girl with no name wanted to help Naaman. The guy who just came in and took over her town? She wanted to help that guy? Can you believe it? Do you ever want to be kind or helpful to someone who's mean to you? Me neither. But that's why this girl is the real hero of the story. We don't even know her name. 
but she's famous for what she did. She chose to show kindness to someone who wasn't kind to her. And that's exactly how little Penelope acted. We decided she deserved a name. She showed compassion to a guy who didn't deserve it. Do you know what compassion means? It means to be tender-hearted to someone and see things from their point of view. So instead of hating Naaman and being mean to him, Penelope chose to see things from his point of view. Because maybe the reason he was so mean is because how he looked. Okay, so now let's finish the story. Naaman was healed, and he learned who the real God is. All because of a little girl with no name, named Penelope. That was a cool story. Did you guys catch that this girl actually helped her enemy? You know, Naaman wasn't a nice guy. He had captured the girl with no names people. He had forced them to be his slaves. But she honored Naaman, even though she probably didn't like him, by bringing someone who could heal him. You know, Joey, I think there's a verse in the Bible about this. Can you hand me my Bible? Thank you. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 5, verses 44 and 45, But I tell you, love your enemies. That's crazy. Pray for those who hurt you. And if you do this, then you will be true children of your Father in heaven. Wow, Joey, that's exactly what this girl did in our story. That's a serious superpower you got there, kid. What a hero! That was a cool story. But, Miss Alicia, do we have to show honor like Naaman's servant girl did by running to get a prophet and bringing him to heal someone? Well, no, Super Joey. Um, That's not what we have to do. There are actually a lot of ways we can show honor to others. Watch this. The superpower of honor is actually all of the other superpowers rolled into one. It is, it really is. It makes one giant superpower. Wait, one giant superpower? But how? Well, we can honor our parents with the superpowers of words and obedience. We can honor others with the superpower of serving, and we can honor God with our superpowers of worship and prayer. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Super Joey. And just like the girl with no name in our story, showing honor to someone can also mean having compassion, being kind, or putting yourself in someone else's shoes and trying to imagine how they feel. Oh, what about saying okay with a smile on our face when our parents ask us to do something? Yeah. Or paying attention to our teachers when they teach us about Jesus. Yeah, yeah, Super Joey. Those are great ways to show honor to people too. Miss Alicia? Yeah? I've got lots of people I can show honor to, so I want to start using my superpower right now. That's great, Super Joey, and hey... Thank you so much for helping us learn about our superpower of honor today and all the other superpowers too. Yay! You're welcome. And you know what? What? You were right. Showing honors is way better than a chest full of gold because showing honor makes God smile and I want more than all the gold in the world. I'm so glad to hear you say that, Super Joey, because making God smile is the best thing ever. Sure is. I gotta go now. Lots of people to honor, and I want to be the best. Okay. Bye, Super Joey. Bye. Dun, dun, dun. You guys, honor is your superpower. It's a superpower that God gives to all of us. But remember, you have to choose to use it. And it's not just about what you say or what you do. It's about the attitude of your heart when you say or do something. Would you guys like to honor God right now by praying with me, please? Let's put everything out of your hands, turn off your voice, close your eyes, and I want you to repeat this prayer after me. You can say it out loud or you can say it in your head and in your heart. You ready? Dear God, 
Thank you for giving me the superpower of honor. I want to honor you and others from my heart. Would you please show me how to be the best at honoring you and others this week? And please help us to use all of our superpowers to make you smile. Thank you for Jesus and that he taught us how to honor others too. We love you so much. Amen. with the flash <laughs> that really hurt my elbow <laughs> now let's talk about who we honor <laughs> no more fish <laughs> you good i'm good <laughs> Boy's funny? Is there something in my teeth? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Maggie's back. We, we broke her. <laughs> Let's go inside. <laughs> Thank you for birthday so you can have like a celebration for everybody. I can for like everybody. <laughs> I just need to fart really bad, and that's the reason I'm hesitant. I'm like, yeah, get okay, go it. out. No, it's too late now. We're starting. We're rolling. Uh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Not cool, man. Not cool at all. <laughs>